Discussion starts at three minutes. Mental fortitude, an axe, we probably might be able Edge piece. That. That. Okay, let's begin the discussion. I don't want to ruin the sweet, sweet sound of splitting wood with a voiceover. The title of the video is Real Men Split Firewood. Now, of course, you don't have to split firewood to be a real man, but there are some distinct qualities and characteristics that real men in splitting wood have in common. I guess my first point to discuss would be, what is a real man? That is a subjective question, and the answers will vary depending on who you ask. Not everyone's definitions will be the same, and that's okay. In my opinion, a real man is one who provides for his family, puts his family's needs first above his own, protects his family, and has character, grit, and determination. Providing for his family. To me, this is one of the most fundamental duties of a man. To provide does not necessarily mean providing monetarily, although I do think every able-bodied man should do his very best to work. The amount earned isn't what is important. It's the effort put forth and the intent to provide, to try his best despite the circumstances. I've done jobs that I hated and made little money because at the time, it's the best I could do. There's no way I was gonna sit at home while someone else went off to work so I could do nothing. Aside from providing monetarily, to provide means his family feeling secure, to assess potential threats, to provide a safe home, to provide a warm bed to sleep in, to provide food at the dinner table, to provide a roof over their heads. These things, in my opinion, make a real man. Putting his family's needs first. A real man will go without so his family can have things. Whether it be food in his belly or shoes on his feet, he lets his family have these things when he may, when he may not be able to. Not all men have families to provide for, and that's their choice as a man. Those who do, though, should put their family's needs above their own. That's just my humble opinion. 
protecting his family. Naturally, men are protectors. They assess potential threats and act accordingly, protecting their family at all costs. Sometimes this means violence. After all, a good man is a very, very dangerous man who has that under voluntary control. Often these men are taken lightly and the consequence of such a foolish notion can be grave. It's not how loud you bark, it's how hard you bite. Not everyone in this world is a good person and a real man should always be assessing, scanning, deciphering and identifying these threats. Identified threats need to be handled accordingly. As character, grit and determination. To me, these go hand in hand. A real man is one who has a strong character. He's not able to be bought, influenced, or persuaded to do unethical or immoral things. He stands up for what's right and acts accordingly. He has grit. He survives the storms that he will face in life as a father, as a husband, as a brother, as a son, and as a man. He doesn't give up easily, and he fights with all he has. Having determination and grit to me are very similar and real men have these qualities in spades. A real man is both physically strong and mentally strong. I'm not saying you must be the Incredible Hulk, but in life and death survival situations, the strongest survive. Having physical strength is a huge asset in these types of situations, and I think that's hard to deny. Having mental strength, though, is in my opinion even more important. This sort of strength will help guide men to make the best decisions, will help them figure out solutions to their problems, and will guide the family down the best roads in life. So you're asking yourself, what does any of this have to do with splitting firewood? A lot. Anyone who has split a lot of firewood knows it creates, builds, and requires a lot of discipline, determination, grit, and character. Many of the same qualities and attributes I described earlier that real men have in spades is also required to split firewood, especially by hand. Many men spend their free time on hobbies that they enjoy, whether it be playing cards, watching sports, fixing up old cars, sometimes playing video games. While these hobbies are all fine, when you find a man who spends his free time splitting firewood, to me, this exhibits there is a very strong likelihood that this is a different sort of man. One who is choosing his family's warmth over his own hobbies and desires. One who is choosing to heat his home any way possible, even when he may not have the money to buy heating oil. He is not sitting back crying in self-pity, asking for government assistance or for others to come and save him to his aid. He's out in the rain, the snow, the heat, the cold, splitting firewood to provide for his family. All while doing a task that is physically demanding, time consuming, and not on most men's list of favorite activities. This sort of man knows that he has a responsibility to do what it takes, to do what is necessary. He's providing for his family, he's putting his family's needs first, he's very likely a protector, his splitting firewood regularly requires both strength and discipline, and he likely has character grit and determination. Well, I certainly hope you guys enjoyed today's video on firewood. It was not meant to offend anyone. It's not meant to say women cannot split firewood. It's not to say all men who split firewood are great men or that those who don't are bad men. It's not meant to say there aren't other attributes and qualities that define a great man. Just my personal opinion and a general thing that I've noticed over the years being in firewood forums one thing I've noticed is most men and women I've come across are generally good people. They're family-minded, hardworking, honest, and have traits I would describe as admirable, especially in today's world. If you have interest in seeing the videos displayed on the screen in today's video in more detail, please consider checking out the cards that have been displayed throughout the video, as well as checking out the description for links to those videos. We have all kinds of content on firewood and firewood related chores that we think you'll enjoy. Until next time, have a good one, friends. Do it for today's video, friends. I'll tell you what, those are some heavy pieces.